So I decided to make this video. This is a 2010 Sea-Doo 210 Challenger SC. I've got two 215 horsepower, a 1.5 funnel motors in this boat. Let me turn it around here so you guys can see. Let me open this up. So these are my motors right here. And I'll get to the point in a second here. And here are my oil pressure switches. These are mechanical, which I have right there. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I've owned this boat for about eight years and this port side motor um, I had removed about two years ago and at the bottom of the motor there is a valve that was replaced. But ever since then, um, I get a low oil pressure um, warning between three and 4,000 RPM, typically upon acceleration and coming out of plane, so deceleration. So um, I've looked on the forums, everyone tells me it's the um, oil pressure switch, which I've replaced three times on uh, that particular motor. This motor works just great. There's nothing wrong with it. So in looking at all the forums over the last, goodness, probably six months or so, um, no one has installed mechanical oil pressure switches on these motors. So. I decided to do it. Um, and as you can see here, here's my line on both of these motors right here. And instead of going into the oil pressure switch at the bottom of the motor, I decided to go to the head, as you can see right there, that gold, that brass right there. Um, all you have to do is physically unscrew, I believe it's a five or six millimeter hex bolt in the bottom of there. Um, I will post in the um, video the links to all of the brass fittings that you're going to need. Um, so I installed this in both motors. And let me grab my keys real quickly, my apologies. Sorry, I should have been a little bit more prepared here. So let me grab my key. I'm doing it this with one hand. These are my oil pressure switches right there, as you can see. And I've got another video of actually the boat. So I'm just, this is just idling right now. So I'm gonna start it and you'll see. There's my one motor. It'll take a second for it to come up. You can actually see it rising. Goes up to about 20 to 30 PSI on that motor. There's my starboard side motor. It goes all the way up, interestingly enough, at idle. Anywhere between 75 to 80, sometimes even close to 90 PSI. You can see both of them are running. I'm gonna turn it off. And the reason why I decided to install those gauges is because, like I said, between three and 4,000 RPM, I get a low oil pressure warning on this port side motor. And I actually wanted to see what that motor's doing during that time of acceleration and deceleration. And I'll be candid with you. I think there's something wrong with the oil pump because that oil pressure will drop um, between 10 and 13, 14 PSI coming out of acceleration or decelerating it only comes up for a second but when i go back to idle and i've got another video i can show with you guys at idle 30 i'm sorry at idle it's about 20 psi and um cruising at about 30 miles an hour 6,000 rpm the left motor the port side motor uh, runs at about 30 to 40 psi and then the starboard side motor runs in between like 60 and 80 psi so I hope this video was helpful for you guys that are interested in installing mechanical oil pressure switches um, in your boat. Um, in the video, I will include some of the links to um, not only the tools, but the brass fittings that you're gonna need and these oil pressure switches. Have a great day, thanks.